Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing my new Ultra Retro Microphone. As of the time that I'm making this video, there is no place in the U.S. which is uh, selling this, so I had to get it directly from China. I got it through Alibaba. Well, the box is interesting, but it doesn't seem to have a picture or anything to indicate what I ordered. So let's see what's inside. The picture on the box is definitely not what I ordered. This appears to be what I ordered. How is this for being ultra retro? There is no documentation or anything on it. The, uh, it said that when I bought it that this was a condenser microphone. So the, obviously the first thing to figure out is where is the axis? Where is the on axis and where is off axis? And if you look in a close light, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but the side that has a connector has wires coming at it. So obviously that is the rear. So therefore the side that doesn't have well, wires coming out of the capsule is the front. So you can tell the front will be the one away from where the connector is. I plan on using this microphone as a fallback microphone. So let's look and see how it fits into my whole setup. This is my studio. For decorations I have some old uh, equipment that I no longer use, but it gives a nice look, a nice feel. My records, a picture of someone I have no idea it is, a Wimshurst influence machine, a picture of uh, King Edward the Seventh. No studio should be without one. A clock that I made. My Victrola. Various bits and bobs and odds and ends. My mixer and of course the fallback microphone. Well, I've been using it as a fallback microphone, which is certainly not a very demanding application. The cost is only about 50, 60 bucks, so that's fine. It's nothing uh, very, it's certainly not expensive. It suits my purposes quite well. I could see that most people would probably be wanting it as a stage microphone because, after all, uh, a mi the microphone that you have on stage is as important in its looks as your uh, costume, as your lighting, and everything like that. I have not worked with it on stage. Its build quality seems quite rugged. It would probably stand up okay. The sound quality is okay, but nothing exceptional. I mean, after all, it's just a $60 microphone. Uh, I don't know about its side axis rejection. It does show uh, it does show signs of directionality. It's probably a standard cardioid microphone. I could see it probably working okay for you on stage. Um, but as I said, remember, it's really just a $60 microphone. It's not going to compare with five, six hundred dollar microphones. But all in all, it's something you might want to consider. Well, that's it. Thank you.